I want y'all to hear this. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. How was your weekend? I hope it was wonderful. And um, I hope that uh, you guys have had a chance to shut down from some of the madness. And the madness that you should be overwhelmed about, it just seems that nobody seems to care about. And this is things like new details emerge in the Brett Favre scandal. Seems like a lot of people just want to talk about Kyrie Irving and Kanye West. And I just want y'all to examine the double standard that we're not accepting anymore. The role of the slave master and the slave has got to be put to death. It really does. And most countries have a caste system. But unfortunately for us who built this country, we at the bottom of the totem pole. So this way you can have a privileged individual like Brett Favre, who was my favorite player, by the way, when he played for Green Bay. You know, um, in fact, it took a long time for me to take my hats off to Aaron Rodgers. That's how much of a fan of Brett Favre that I really was. In fact, um, who, who I consider a bigger fan maybe than me? Maybe Wheezy. <laughs> maybe. Saw him up at Lambeau Field during the Brett Favre days. But check this out, y'all. For all the ways the Wolves, the Green Bay Packers, are facing uh, this season off the field, the even worse when mentioning the one franchise all-time greats, okay? Because, see, y'all just want to sweep this under the rug, and I think I would be doing myself a disservice and all the athletes and the people that are poor in the state of Mississippi, I'd be doing them a great disservice not to keep this conversation on the lips of people. Favre is in the middle of a welfare scandal in his home state of Mississippi, Using one five one point five million in um, welfare funds to secure for a volleyball center at his alma mater, Southern Mass, where his daughter played. I'm excuse me, I meant to say one to five million. Text messages were released because you remember he said he ain't know nothing about it. So now now these text messages have been released showing his knowledge and the intent to use these funds and keep the public from knowing about it. Tell me what could be worse. Y'all up here tripping about trying to control your runaway slave, Kyrie Irving, because that's what y'all think he is. You think he's your slave because he earned the money. So you don't even have no time to discuss this? And this is acceptable to American people? Y'all expect us to act like all oh, business as usual. No. No. You know, this, like I said, might have awakened a sleeping giant because this right here is getting too ridiculous. Too damn ridiculous that everybody wants to turn their eye on Brett Favre stealing this money from the poor people in Mississippi who have brown water and potholes in their streets the size of, uh, no, I can't even, the size of freaking ponds. You have to turn around and not go down some roads because the streets are so bad. Majority of them. <coughs> so the text messages were released. And so we now we know his behind new. All those see the lies. See these lies. And y'all, you know, you so damn unethical. So unethical. I don't know, you know, how anybody would want to be associated with this party. Honestly. I, you know, I mean, I got my druthers about the other one as well, but 
this right here, to know you out and out a thief, and you out and out do disrespectful things like steal from the poor, steal from the poor, you who have made so much money during your playing days and endorsements, <coughs> now listen, since these texts were released, Brett Favre has denied um, any knowledge of any wrongdoing, claiming to not know where the funds were supposed to have come from and what they were originally designed for. I have been unjustly smeared in the media. I have done nothing wrong. And it's time, it's it is past time to set the record straight. No one ever told me, and I did not know that the funds designated for welfare recipient was going to the university or to me. Now y'all know he's lying now. Now I'm get I'm gonna tell you what his way gonna be out. Because they was already trying to sell this medicine called prefacin or whatever. So he's gonna claim. The next thing down the pike is that he's crazy. He got the CTR. Is that what it is? CTE. Uh, and that that's probably responsible for him making so many misjudgments. That I mean, this is what, and then they're going to get away with it. Just like I can't understand why uh, Donald Trump is not locked up in jail. Any sane and rational human being would know no black man could ever get away with this. No brown man could ever get away with nothing like this. He just tried to steal the election. He done put a right in every damn thing. And, and people are still talking about when he won in 2024. Oh, God. I can't be here. I just can't. Anyway, since then, another development in the incident has emerged. With two Florida-based companies that prescribe con uh, concussion drug, Prevacus and Presso MD, now caught in the middle. Both companies are backed by the Green Bay Packer Gray. The company's finder, founder, Jake Van Landingham, is alleged to have received over $2.1 million in welfare funds. Everybody get money. You get a car. You get some money. You get some money. You get all of them get welfare money. Money designated for poor people. Look at this shit. The two concussions drug companies backed by FARS and enmeshed in a massive welfare fraud case overstated their NFL connections and exaggerated the known effectiveness of their drugs in efforts to raise money. Far back to come. While he has only been accused, no arrests have happened for Far. At the moment, the state of Mississippi is looking to get back millions of dollars in misappropriated funds. Totally somewhere between 94 million uh, has been misused. First discovered in 2020. These some dirty bastards. Dirty, just dirty. Mississippi is the poorest state in the country with an 18.8 .8 poverty rate and a 4.1 unemployment rate and an average medium household income of just under 45000 Just adding to the daunting alleged audacities attached by Brett Favre and others associated with this million-dollar odium is travesty. A damn travesty. This is the man y'all want to mess with Kyrie. Now, we turned the blind eye when he had the dick pics. Okay? We turned the blind eye when he was sending these pictures to these women who kept saying, stop that shit. I don't want to see your genitals. But he kept doing it anyway. Okay? We got past that. We got past his opioid and um, drug use, right? Oh, come on, somebody. Nobody want to talk about it? I want you to just lay this out in comparison to Kyrie Irving. And now we got sheer 
com proof that he stole this money from Mississippi so his daughter could they could build a volleyball gym in honor of him. Welfare funds. He's a welfare king. Remember how they used to call the black women welfare queens? Man, this country is so screwed up that the lies that they've told in these people people in this country for so long, and they've gaslit people for so long that people actually think that the face of all poor people are black. As if there's no white people suffering in Mississippi because of the decisions that Brett Favre made. And those that damn thieves. Crooks and bandits. I'm going to stop now. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the dick pic, opioid popping, now welfare fraud stealing allegedly individual. Tell me what you think about him. And do you think it should hurt his Hall of Fame? Um, um, his Hall of Fame representation. Okay, okay. You know, I mean, considering what you did to Terrell Owens, Terrell Owens, considering what happened to him, Brett Favre, the damn thief. <sighs> Who would have thunk it? Anyway, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share. We'll see you in the next video.